Ooh, let me fix my hat for this because it's about to go down, y'all. Listen, it's your boy G Maniac. We live and direct right now here at Chill Works in Third Ward. It's right next to the railroad. I know you guys have seen the bus come by, but we got a brand new frozen tree spot. He just happened to be my doctor, y'all. He got some fire stuff in here from the frozen custard, Italian ice to everything nice. Y'all come check him out, man. Let's get it. Caught him off guard. I go hard and they weren't even ready. Okay. We eating good over here. It's time to bless the belly. Ace Town, what we doing? We getting some of them sweet. Ooh -wee. What we got going here today, baby? We here at Chill Works. I just stepped inside the brand new location. They've been here since October, y'all. Y'all gotta come check them out. I'm finna go down the list because I don't know what I'm finna get, but I know it's gonna be good and uh. Good food, put you in a good mood. Good food, put you in a good mood. Bless the belly. Bless, 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 bless the belly. Bless, bless, bless. bless. Okay. Y'all smell that waffle cone in the back, man? Listen, that's one thing about a waffle cone. Now, I like mine, that little cinnamon twist to it. Gotta be a little crunchy, or it could be soft. I'll take it either or, but that definitely adds a kick to whatever flavor ice cream or custard or sorbet. I say sherbet. Any sorbet you put on there, man, most definitely. So um, we got our flavors here today. Now they change their flavors pretty often. That's a dope thing as well. Like, how many places you know when you walk in, you kind of expect the unexpected, you know what I'm saying? Like all different kind of flavors. And see me, I'm a fruity person. So when I see all these different pinks and purples and stuff, I just know I'm in the right place. It feels like very heaven, you know? Very heaven here, from the watermelon to the pink lemonade. Oh, they got peach gelato. That sounds like something the rappers be talking about. I'm on that peach gelato. Oh, let me try that acai berry, please. Right. Now this is a gelato, correct? Uh, yes. yes, it is a gelato. Now, okay. That tastes like that's fresh off the ice cream truck. When I was a kid, whatever flavor that was just popped in my head. I, acai berry, wow. Okay, let me try this pink lemonade. Okay, pink well, lemonade. <laughs> Can't go wrong with this. Mm. That tastes like a big Starburst. <laughs> Dang! I like that. It got like a nice little aftertaste, but it's good. It's super sweet. So guys, y'all follow me over here. This is actually the cool part. So they have machines live and direct for you to get your own soft serving over here. So from the different options, the cheesecake, vanilla, if you want to keep it cool, vanilla custard, cookies and cream, that's an all-time favorite as well. Birthday cake. Ooh, ooh. Now come on. It's somebody's birthday every day now. So that birthday cake has got your name on it. You can definitely come in and try that. Can I try the birthday cake? Absolutely. Let's try the birthday cake real quick. I gotta decide if I put that in a mix, but I know that birthday cake gotta be hidden for something. That birthday cake. Like 50 said, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Cheers to the birthday cake. Boy. This the top and the bottom of the cake. This is good. Mm. It's like vanilla with some type of crazy twist to it. It's yeah. enough though, not too much, not overpowering. When you think of birthday cake, you think, is it too sweet? It's actually not too sweet. You can finish the whole pint of this, all right? So. Yes, sir. Ooh, look at this beauty. This beauty is about to enter my belly and it's about to go down. Just look how they took their time with it. And it didn't take long. So after a good dinner, a good meal, you come in here, you and Bae, y'all come in here and check this out, man, because it's where it's at. We finna uh, pick Dr. Eddie's brain real quick, and we gonna try some of this chill works. I know it's here. Let's go. Belly. Bless. 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 Bless the belly. Bless. 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 Finna hit the streets, bout to grub as we speak. Gotta, got, gotta hit up a few spots I love every week. Bless the belly. Bless. 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 Okay. Bless the belly. Bless. We got the frozen treat of the day. I don't even know what to call it. Let's just call it the Bless the Belly Bowl or something. You did? It's going like down? Yes, yes, sir. Hey, we're here right now with Dr. Look, I say Dr. Eddie Lambert because you guys might not know that this is my actual doctor. We just completed a, a successful surgery here a month ago. So I like being transparent. My followers, they was like, where's some of the content at? We can send you in and out of content. Well, you know, I've been with Doc. Doc may get me right. But we are here today to salute him because he actually has a dope shop here in Third Ward called Chill Works. Now, for you guys that's in the frozen treats, for you women that's in, in the frozen treats, you yourself can come and get one of these right here um, next to U of H, not too far from TSU. It's right off Elgin, y'all, and it's owned by Black Guy, Mr. Eddie, right here. How you doing today, first and foremost? Man, always blessed. Always know, blessed. On the right side of the ground, you know how it is. 
Thanks, man. Listen, I'm blessed too. This thing here, I knew it was gonna start doing it. It's like a tower, but I cleaned up after myself. That's you know? what's up. It's okay. Yeah, you know. But uh, I definitely want to pick your brain, man, because it's just unbelievable. I think it's so dope how like. You know, even me knowing your story as far as you working as a doctor and then coming out work, coming straight to here, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so let's just talk about, you know, being a business owner. What's one thing that um, you've been able to see during COVID? Like, has it been harder for you to bring in business as a business owner? Or, you know, has COVID picked up certain businesses? I know with this being a frozen tree business, has it affected it? Like, how has COVID affected that? Well, I would tell you this, you know, like all businesses, the pandemic has definitely affected us. Um, things are starting to pick back up now. People are getting vaccinated. Uh, the numbers are going down, so it's, it's a lot safer for people to come out. Right. Uh, we have opened up the dining room. Okay. Right. Right. Um, we, of course, as you can see, when you get done here, we're going to clean this table. Everything is clean on mm -hmm. a regular basis. That's one thing I like. When I walked in, you know, some people talk to talk, but y'all actually walk it. Walk it. I walk in certain spots and they be cleaning as they go up. You don't really see it. I think walking in here, just seeing the whole thing just being clean, it feels fresh. It feels like, oh, let me just get some of this. Let me get a whole bunch of this and still be clean. I think that's super dope. Like, yeah. It's all about the atmosphere, right? That's it's like cool. a vibe. When you walk in somewhere, you're looking for like a vibe. You have music going. I love like the scenery, like the different colors and everything. And then the options. The options are here, right? Yeah. So how many options do you have overall? Do you like? Is there a number? Oh yeah. As far as flavors, we uh, have approaching two hundred different flavor choices. That's why we change the flavors so right. uh, consistently. Uh, so we have a gelato master who actually happens to be my mother. Um, she makes all the products in house. Everything that we sell, we make. What? Right. Okay. When I sell you something, I want it to be fresh. I don't want it to be For something real. that has come in from. Right. California. This is a Houston based product. We make everything in Texas. Houston based, made here right here in Texas by his mother. Come on, y'all. That's right. That's dope. So, did mom teach you any cooking skills or anything in particular growing up? Or hustling skills, maybe? Or, uh, well, I mean, of course, you know, everything is passed down, right? It's, you know, family secrets, of course. Right. That's Some secrets. Mom. Some secrets, man. <laughs> Is mom into frozen treats and stuff like that a lot? Or? Uh, we both are. You know, I'm more of frozen yogurt, sorbet, uh, Italian ice sort of person. She likes it all. She likes ice cream, gelato. I mean, of course, she has to be in order to be able to make it in a way that right. other people would like it. Right. That's <laughs> real talk. Yeah. And like, let me just start off with these flavors, y'all. I cannot lie to you. You know, I'm going to keep it real here on Bless the Belly because we're going to try to do no fake, no pump faking up here. These flavors are crazy right now. I got some strawberry, let me put this up there, some strawberry boba, if y'all can see that. Now, do you have a favorite flavor? What's your favorite flavor? Out of all these flavors, what do I eat? Oh, well, I mean, it depends on which day of the week, but, mm. you know, if I'm going, if I'm going for yo, I'm going to do my birthday cake, right? Mm. You know, everyone likes to feel like it's their birthday. Right. Right? If I'm... Uh, oh, that's true. Yeah. You know, if I'm feeling like a sorbet, uh, my go-to is probably either the mango or the watermelon, mm. right? Like, and sometimes I'm, I have a little bit of both. I mean, that's the thing about Chill Works. You truly can't have it your way. You know, right. if you like uh, pomegranate raspberry and you like strawberry shortcake, yeah, we can hook you up. Right. right? I mean, topics, you see, we got 40 plus topics. And, you know, amazing. Yeah, we try to keep fresh fruit in stock when this is the season. Um, you know, we just want to be able to provide a quality product here in Third Ward right. that people don't feel like, oh, we're breaking the bank every time you come. And that's a cool part too, yeah. When you can come and it's inexpensive, you ain't gotta pay too too much money, but you can get so many options. Listen, this is where you need to be. Like, there's no way around it. And how long have you been a doctor? Uh, wow, man, since 2007. Originally from? Originally from Tennessee, Chattanooga. From Tennessee. Do they have like a lot of frozen tree spots in Tennessee? Are they in it over there? Yeah, yeah, they do. I mean, nothing like this, right? This is a one of a kind. Like this right here doesn't exist anywhere else. And why is that? Can you explain to the people? Well, I mean, really what we try to do is we try to take the best of all worlds and put it under one roof, right? Again, some people like ice cream and some people don't. Right. Some people like frozen yogurt and some people don't. But when you have a family that has a diverse palate mm. and some will like, oh, I don't like custard. Right. Well, if you go to a custard place, you kind of feel left out. Right. When you come right. here, you can find something for everyone. That's what I was thinking. I was like, as soon as I walked in and seen all the options, I was like, which girl I'm going to bring here? Look, That's like, right. Because well, I know she's going to have a lot of different options. Oh, birthday cake? Oh, what's the other flavor? Um, 
Dolce de Leche? Like, that's that just sound player. Man, he sounds Italian for a second. Come on, man. man. That sounds Mr. Good. International right Come on, now. It's coming soon. International. <laughs> and um, have you seen more women gravitate to something like this than men? You no, know, it's been, I'll be honest with you, it's been a, kind of a 50-50 split. Mm -hmm. I mean, actually, I was actually surprised. We're seeing a lot more families. The fact that we're right next to two college campuses, right. I expected to see predominantly younger, you know, college age people, but no, we're seeing families come in here. I mean, and that's one of the reasons why we have the kid size ball. Right. I have a three year old myself. Right. It's important for people to come in here and not feel like, oh, I have to get this overpriced small cup that right. a three year old won't be able to eat. The right. kid size is perfect for her. She, right. she can finish it and it's, it's not that expensive, so. So how many options do you have? You have the kid size, then what? What's so we have kid size, which is four ounces okay. of one scoop. We have small, which is eight ounces or two scoops. Gotcha. Medium is 12 ounces or three scoops. And then the large, which you got, it's 16 ounces or four scoops. And listen, this 16 ounces will fill you up because I went light today. I think I got two flavors and then just some like mango and stuff on top, but you can come in here and go crazy. There are no limits, y'all. The area is pretty much like Central Houston. I mean, Third Ward, you know, you're right here. Um, they've been here since October, so that gives it about, what, almost it's about six months, right? Seven months, yeah. Seven months, man. Black-owned business right here in the city. Um, if there's anything or any specific thing you could change about the business, is there anything? Like, just the frozen treat business overall? Cause well, I wouldn't say about the frozen treat business, mm -hmm. but, you know, you're a pretty influential guy. Okay. So I'll put this message out. Literally yesterday, we were cited by the city of Houston for trying to advertise that we are open. This is a pandemic. A lot of businesses are shuttered right now. Right. And you know, a lot of small mom and pop operations like we have right. are not the most internet savvy. They right. might still right. have right. their hours up on Google right. or Facebook, but actually be shuttered due to, due to the pandemic. Well, we put out a sign, a banner saying, hey, we're open. Right. We are here. Um, the city of Houston basically said, listen, you got 24 hours to take it down because it's, <laughs> there is an ordinance, an attention, attention getting ordinance. You can't have blinking lights like our open sign. Oh, you can't, can't have it? You can't have Right here in this area? No. Anywhere in the city of Houston. Wow. You can't have signs out that aren't permitted. The only sign that we're allowed to have outside of this building is the one that's actually right. permitted by the city of Houston. And it's not even blinking, so it's like... It can't blink. Right, right, right. By law. And so, you know, during this economic downturn, the city needs to, first of all, it needs to update that ordinance. Right, they should. I mean, because that's really outdated for a city the size of Houston. Houston. Man, I didn't even know that, so... Yeah. yeah. And the, the, the problem is, in this, this complex that we're in right now, we were in violation, but the apartment complex has a banner up mm -hmm. and right. is in violation as well, right. but only the small business was cited. So my problem is, yeah, you're enforcing it. It's unreasonable to begin with, but you're not even enforcing it equally. equally right. So you're going after the small business and right. ignoring the larger business. And do you feel like people usually do that, like aim at small businesses because they feel like, you know, it's easier to get them out the way or make them listen or whatever, you know? Yeah, I actually, I kind of do. I mean, just to be honest with you, I don't have any political clout. Right. I'm, I'm one guy, me and my mom, we don't know any uh, council, women or men, we don't know the mayor. I can't pick up the phone and say, hey, how you been? I got a problem, fix this for me. Right. But I know you now. Right. And he's a whole doctor, listen y'all. Like, this man is the man with the plan. Y'all definitely gotta check him out. It's a different level of respect when I, like I say, I'm a hustler myself, I do a lot of different stuff, but just seeing him and knowing like, man, this man goes to work every day, works in the doctor's office, and then comes here to make sure he serves the people of his community. Come on now. To continue, sorry, continue serving the people of his community. Because you're doing that all day. I appreciate that. So, oh, it's all good, man. And um, do you find that, like, other doctors have, like, side hustles and stuff? Or is this just something you say, I'm going to do it, you know, I want this to be in my community? Or, you know, people are getting side hustles. Absolutely. Uh, so we have a small investment group. It's not just me. There's okay. about three other physicians that are part of this this group with me. Okay. Yeah. And so we're doing this because, you know, healthcare has changed a lot in the last five or ten years. Right. I mean, there's, there's problems with people being able to have access to healthcare. 
and just the affordability of services once they even have insurance. Right. right? Things are True. more expensive. And so with the pandemic, we've seen uh, a decrease in the number of people even going to the emergency departments just because they don't have the money. They're out of work. Right? I mean, this is affecting everyone. Everybody, right. And so, I mean, this is something that I wanted to be able to do with uh, me and a couple of other uh, physicians that I know. Right. So we, we could build something that we have more ownership and control over. We, we not me. That's right. It's a team effort. You dig? I like that. And, um, man, what, hold up, Doc. What's in this watermelon? What is this? The, uh, Nothing but watermelon, baby. It's like, a sorbet. Like, but I like it because, like I say, I'm like an ice. It's like a slushy type vibe or something. You know, it's not too creamy. I think with ice cream, right. I get, like, too creamy at times. It may be, like, sleepy. It's like soul food for me. I'm like, if I eat some good ice cream, get that ice. But something like this. Man, this is, I jump right back in the car feeling good and cold is going down. Um, so I don't want to keep you too long, man. I want to pick your brain, but like, man, I, I really, I really see this business taking off. I know things like COVID and just what you just told me, the department stuff, like people just, you know, it's always going to be little nits in there, but I definitely feel like a business like this will survive. We're going to say that it is going to survive because I'm going to do whatever I can on my platform. We're going to boom it out there, not only because I'm a fan of you, but I'm a fan of all this, man, y'all gotta y'all gotta realize for black owner small business doing something like this that I feel like everybody loves. And like he said, the options are endless. From the custard, the Italian ice, you don't have to just go to an Italian ice place. Cause that's where you'll find me at. You know what I'm mean? saying? I just be at an Italian ice spot trying mm -hmm. to see what their flavors are. But you can come in here, get different flavors because they swap them out. Is it weekly, monthly? Oh yeah, we change it every week. I every mean, week you come so in and find the flavors. There's gonna be something new every week. That's like an adventure. That don't sound like an adventure to y'all. Like, come in here and see what's next week because they might not have this watermelon. I'm talking, I'm hyping this up right now, but you got to come see for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have Instagram, right? Yeah, we do. What's the Instagram? So the Instagram is the.chill.works. The.chill.works. I'll be sure to tag them down below. Um, I'm also going to put them on my TikTok and Instagram. I know y'all be seeing my other videos and stuff like that go viral. So we're going to hype them up on there. All you ladies, we might need to do a date night or something, uh, doc. Like, look, all you ladies that subscribe, follow, and like, and share this video, I'll pick a group of y'all. We can come in here, and on me, we'll have some fun with some frozen um, <laughs> Italian ice custard. Whatever y'all want to eat, it'll be on Blessed Belly. But definitely follow my boy. Check out his page. Um, and support a black doctor in the city doing what he got to do. You understand? That's live. Co-sign my Blessed Belly, man. I'm um, going to finish this. Oh, before we go, before we go. This waffle cone. Now, do you want to tell them that you what you about to, you know, you gonna have the bubble waffle cone and stuff coming soon, or should I leave that as a secret? Because this cone right here, I just want to yeah, emphasize man. how good it is. We'll, like, we'll do that on your next visit. Okay. That's what's up. We'll do that on the next visit. But in the meantime, I love how this has like a little, it has cinnamon in it or yes, what? Yes, sir. That is, we make that, again, we make that. You can't buy that at the store. Man, listen. I ain't buy that store. You gotta come to Chill Works right here. What's the address? Uh, 3509 Elgin Suite 200. 3509 Elgin. You're not gonna miss it. You're gonna see that big red sign and you're gonna come in and say, That's that video, bless the baby. What that dude eating? That's where I was at. Y'all come in, check my boy out, ask for Mr. Eddie, Dr. Eddie, if you watch this video from Bless the Belly. Hey, come on, man. What you waiting on? Come bless your belly, man, and we out. Caught them off guard, I go hard and they weren't even ready. Okay. We eating good over here, it's time to bless the belly.